Thank you. Thank you so much for the introduction. I bet, I bet nobody in this room would like to be diagnosed for prostate cancer with a conventional method, like using digital rectal examination or going under a biopsy, painful biopsy and complicated uh, biopsy, but rather maybe just a few minutes in the MR scanner and then having radiologists checking your uh, results and then hopefully we'll send you home or proceed for simple treatment. Big part of the diagnostic and treatment process is segmentation and delineation of the prostate. And today I'm going to talk about the automatic prostate and prostate zone segmentation using a convolutional neural network. Our approach is based on the state-of-the-art standard unit, but with a little bit of tweak of adding dense blocks and at each stage of the standard classical unit. With that, we achieve more complex, more, more compact um, more compact net, more compact model, and we benefit from the reuse of the already um, extracted feature maps. If we jump straight to the results, we can see that both UNET and dense net achieved very good segmentations with slight differences in both segmentations uh, for prostate gland and the peripheral zone. If we speak about the numbers, we can see that dense unit achieved better results in terms of dice coefficient in both uh, in both prostate gland and the peripheral zone. We can conclude from this study that we are on our way to fully uh, achieve fully automatic segmentation method. It's faster and usually is more robust than the human radiologist. The radiologist will segment the prostate in approximately 12 minutes while the network can achieve that in only two seconds. Dense unit that we, that we have developed is, more, um, is much better than classical unit not with a big margin, but it's okay, but it still needs more development and more validation on bigger data sets. Thank you so much for your attention.